I worked as a preschool teacher for 20 years in New York. I felt God calling me to relocate, so I moved to Atlanta and waited for God to show me which direction he wanted me to take. But I really struggled to find work. Almost overnight, my daughter and I went from living safely in our apartment to sleeping in our car. I felt completely isolated. After returning home from my deployment in Afghanistan, I found myself struggling with PTSD. I turned to pain pills to numb the feelings. It wasn't long before I'd graduated to heroin. For 11 years, I faced addiction. I lost my marriage, my relationship with my two children, my mother, and so many friends. I eventually ended up in prison, completely isolated from everyone and everything I ever knew. Last summer I was diagnosed with a debilitating illness. Even though I had a support system, I struggled with allowing myself to be vulnerable. Some of the friends I thought would be there weren't. I used humor to hide my fear and push myself to continue as if nothing happened. But deep down, I felt helpless. I had so many questions and doubts and often asked God, why me? I was grieving the life I had before and struggling to accept what was. It was one of the most isolating experiences in my life. Isolation can be painful, lonely, and almost unbearable. So, why is isolation sometimes part of God's plan? Why would a loving God bring us to places where we feel so alone? Because it's necessary. It is a time of repentance, submission, new revelation, greater intimacy with God, realigning of the heart, and ultimately, growth. God is using that time to refine and mold you and shape you into who you need to be and you will come out of it a more whole person with an identity based on Christ and his truth. The reward is so much greater than the suffering. We just have to remember that isolation leads to transformation 